Doctors, I suffer from horrible migraines. I've had them for years. They make me physically ill. They get in the way of me being a mom. They get in the way of my work. I've tried all the medicines. I've been to many different doctors. It just feels like nothing's helping. And I'm really hoping that there's something that you can do for me. Like many of you watching right now, Laura suffers from painful migraines. She's desperate for some relief. The current issue of Red Book Magazine included an article about a promising new migraine treatment. We invited Laura on to try it out with the help of acupuncturist Dr. Michael Yang, who has been here before. Thanks again for being here. And you expressed during the break that you're terrified of needles and the thought of these needles being used to treat your migraines, right? I am. I'm absolutely terrified of needles, but I, the migraines are so bad and they make me so sick and they happen so often that if this is going to help, I'm willing to do it. Well, while Dr. Yang gets you prepped, I want everyone to understand what a migraine is. A migraine is thought to be what we call a vascular headache. And theoretically, when your blood vessels supplying blood to your brain dilate, what will actually happen is it'll send pain signals to your brain. And as a lot of people who know when they suffer from migraines, it includes nausea, pain when you're in front of the lights, significant and debilitating pain that can prevent you from engaging in your normal activities. The great thing about acupuncture is it's fairly natural. It uses your body's normal. Absolutely. The, this is my favorite kind of patient to treat because acupuncture is great. We're talking about increased endorphin response, which we know is the natural painkiller, right? Mm -hmm. We also know, like you're saying, it's a question of blood flow. So acupuncture does a great job of increasing the blood flow in the patient. And that is really critical when we're talking about dealing with this kind of pain. Now you can see we got three in there already. She was How terrified. How is she doing? That's crazy. I can't even feel that. Can't see? feel a thing, right? That's crazy. She has a bunch of needles yeah. sticking out of her. But now the idea is also for you to relax and, and allow in your... In front of 300 people. Just go ahead and relax. No big deal. Easy. National TV. Easy. Right. No big deal. And because, because this is a treatment that you will use when someone's having an acute attack. An acute attack or... Well, people come with acute patients. It's great because you can get them out of pain immediately. The other thing is if they're coming in and they're not in acute pain, you're looking at sometimes you get a miracle cure, right? So one, two visits, they're getting incredible results. Sometimes it takes five or six visits with a really chronic case. Now, she's had them for years. Mm -hmm. So I would expect to see her for a handful of treatments. And then you're going to see fantastic results. So it's important to be a little bit patient, especially when you have a really difficult case. And how often do you get your migraines? I get them about three times a month. And, and they, they, last, they last about 24 to 48 hours each time. And is it debilitating? They make me so ill, I can't do anything. And I'm a mom, so, you know, as moms know, we have to get our kids to school. We have to function during the day, and they're horrendous. Have you tried traditional treatments? I have. I've tried. They even did MRIs. They tried to figure out the cause of it, and all the doctors are basically saying, you just have to live with it. Well, Which is migraines... No There's no way to live, right? If she's in migraines the... are debilitating, and you're right. There's no way to live. Absolutely. And if you can't control your migraines, a great thing to do, if you do get a migraine, the initial thing is go into a dark room, turn relax. down the lights, relax, relax, get the music off, get the, the loud noises no away from you. No strong smells. No strong smells, right? So no loud noises, no strong smells. You want just to take that time and really relax. But for those who can't do it, they need to pursue some kind of treatment. And that great study that you talked about out of the magazine, out of Duke University, 4,000 people, so it's a huge patient population. 62% of the people, great results with acupuncture, 40% with a medication, so, and no side effects associated with acupuncture. What a great technique, right? But the great thing about this is you have to be willing as a patient to try new things. And, and acupuncture is theoretically a great choice for people who aren't getting relief from over-the-counter medicines or prescription medicines. Thank you so much, Dr. Yang. Really a pleasure. Good to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Coming up, we talked about cavity fillings earlier in the show, but do you know a surprising way to prevent them besides brushing your teeth? We're going to tell you what it is next.